Hi, first grade. We are back for another ELA video. And in this video, we are going to read the story, The Garden Good Guys, which is located in your journeys book five. And then I'm going to explain to you your assignments for today. So make sure you have journeys book five out in front of you. And right now we are going to flip open to pages 34 and 35. And these pages look just like this. You will see up at the top, it says garden good guys. And the genre or type of text that this is, it's an informational text. And remember that an informational text gives facts about a topic. You're going to find facts about insects that help gardens in that help gardens in this selection or text. And the text focus is labels. And remember that labels are words that tell more about the pictures in a text. They can name parts of the picture or the whole picture. So we're going to look for labels on here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and read our story, Garden Good Guys by Timothy Thomas. If you have a garden, you should know about bugs. Some bugs are pests that eat the plants. Other bugs eat the pests. They are the garden good guys. If you want a healthy garden, make sure you have ladybugs. Ladybugs eat tiny bugs that snack on garden plants. You may not think a praying mantis is as pretty as a ladybug, but it is a good garden friend. A praying mantis hunts and eats many garden pests. And you'll see right here, this is a ladybug. And we have this label right here that says ladybug. So telling us right here that this is a photograph of a ladybug on a flower. And then over here, we have a photograph of a praying mantis and a label right here that says praying mantis to tell us, oh my goodness, guess what? That's a praying mantis. Okay, let's flip to this next page here. We're on page 36. The big-eyed bug is tiny. Can you guess how it got its name? Big-eyed bugs eat bugs that harm vegetables. How do you think that the big-eyed bug got its name? Take a look at that photograph. What do you notice? It has big eyes. And then we see right here that label that's telling us about the big eyed bug. Now, this is important because although on the last page, we may have known what a ladybug looks like and possibly even a praying mantis, maybe you don't. So by them putting those labels, that tells us as a reader, oh, that's what they were talking about in the text. Over here, the next one is a dragonfly. It says a dragonfly has a long, thin body, large eyes, and two sets of wings. Dragonflies are good for gardens and good for you too. They eat garden pests and mosquitoes. And this right here is a photograph of a dragonfly. We have that label right there that says dragonfly. And we also have another label pointing to its wing, which I think that dragonfly wings are so cool because if you look closely, they're very light. They almost look like plastic, like they're clear and you can see through. So it is really great that they did provide us with that label to point to the wing, just because if you're not looking close enough, you may not be able to see the wing. Okay, boys and girls, that was a short story about the garden good guys, but now I'm going to explain to you your assignments for today. Now, the first assignment I'm going to explain goes directly with that story that we just read. And for that, you are going to need just a white piece of paper. And here's the cool thing. You get to design your own bug that would help in a garden and it can be completely made up. You can make it look like whatever you want. What I am going to ask though, is that you make it pretty big, okay? Try and take up this paper. Don't put like a tiny little small bug on there that I can barely see. Take up this whole paper, design it however you would like to, color it. And after you do that, I'm going to ask that you put three labels on this bug. So think about some of the things that you could possibly label. You could label its wings. If you put wings on the bug, you could label its antennae, which are those little antennae up at the top of its head. You could label its, you know, head, its eyes, whatever you would like to label. Think of some things that you could label on the bug and you need to have three of them again. So remember, if you're doing that, you have your picture here, you can draw a line pointing to whatever you're labeling and then write the name of what you're labeling right here. So for example, if you were, you know, labeling its wings, you would draw a line from the wings and then at the end of that line, write wings. Okay. So that's your first assignment, designing your own garden bug. 
Your other assignments are phonics assignments that I'm going to walk through just because it's a little different than things we have done before. So page 358 looks like this. This one is similar to what we've done before. We are working with the R sound, kind of sounding like a pirate R, A-R together, making that R sound. And up at the top, it says, look at the picture. Draw a circle around the correct word to finish the sentence, write the word on the line. So for example, you'll see right here, it says, I write my name on the, well, you have to look at these two words and figure out what makes the most sense, okay? Then circle the word that makes the most sense, or you don't have to necessarily, well, yes, yeah, circle the word that makes the most sense, and then write that word on the line nice and neat in pencil. And you'll complete that for the rest of the page as well. So that is page 358. Then for page 359 and 360, and really quick, I do want to say that zero did not make it on the page. So it looks like 36, but this is actually supposed to be 360. They're back to back together. So these are those two pages, 359, 360, okay? To complete these pages, you are going to need a book that looks like this, Barb's Sharp Car. And this is located in that quarter three bag that these pages are found in. It just might be tucked in the back. So take a look in the back and find Barb's sharp car. And then what it says you are going to do, it says, read the story, find 10 AR words in the story. Sorry, I'm trying to read backwards and write them on the lines. Do not use the same word more than one time. So for example, if I were looking in here, I see right here, oh, B, R, B, Barb, there's an A, R word. I could write right here for number one, that word Barb. And then where it says page number, I would just have to look and see, well, what page is it on? Oh, cool, it's on page five. So I'd write five on that line for the page number, okay? And those are the same directions that you'll complete for the rest of these pages. You're looking for 10 words that have R or A, R in them. Okay, and what I'm going to ask you to do, I will put this as two separate posts. So I will put 358, 359, and 360 all on a post. And then I will put your garden bug on a separate post. And you do not have to post a picture of this book. You just use this book to help you complete your assignment. All right, first grade, can't wait to see your awesome work. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.